Meet Nakadama Beatrice, a resident of Kasenyi Landing Site, who shares a story of resilience, courage and hope amidst the shadows of HIV stigma. The 44-year-old mother recounts her ordeal that almost had her give up on life. and deterred by the isolation and rejection, Beatrice made the courageous decision to relocate to Kasanya landing site where she embarked on a mission to defy HIV stigma and empower others. With unwavering determination, Beatrice became a beacon of hope, encouraging HIV testing and medication adherence among her peers. But her journey has not been without challenges. Accusations of profiting from her advocacy have tested her resolve. Yet Beatrice remains steadfast in her mission. Organizations like Taso and Tebe and Family Medical Point have been instrumental in providing support and resources to individuals like Beatrice, fostering acceptance and accurate HIV information dissemination. Now with the polling, the program's communications director at Family Medical Point says people like Nakadama are peer mobilizer model who become contact persons for organizations like hers to engage communities in the fight against HIV. Community outreaches, we conduct Musawa sessions where we carry a health worker and we make sure this health worker holds our conversations to provide accurate information to the people living in these landing sites. Um, uh, the residents or participants, usually sex workers, they get to ask questions that they need to know related to sexual reproductive health, HIV, and then they will get accurate information from our health workers, so we call them Musawa sessions. Um, sometimes uh, we get rejection from the community, it's expected, but to create acceptance, we usually apply our community peer mobilizer model because we work with community peer mobilizers. We get peers from that very community and we train them to disseminate this information to these people. And uh, it's easy to work, it's easy for the community to listen to these community peer mobilizers because they are usually community influencers like v uh, village health teams. We work with the village councillors. We also partner with some health facilities, for example, Joslin, Joslin Medical Clinic. Yeah. The estimated number of people living with HIV in Uganda is approximately 1.4 million. Adult HIV prevalence is 5.2% for adults aged 15 to 49. There were 54,000 new HIV infections in 2022, 
translating to about a thousand new infections every week. The country recorded approximately 17,000 AIDS-related deaths in the same period. As Uganda continues its battle against HIV, stories like Nakadama's serve as a reminder that HIV stigma still exists which calls for more efforts if the country is to achieve crucial targets for testing, treatment, and vital suppression. Irene Denise Nalunkuma, Kasenyi Landing Site.